Hey everyone, in this video we're going to see how key value map policy scope attribute works and using which you can able to access control which uh, proxy you can access which key value map. Let's see how it works. Let's say whenever a request comes into Apache Edge, you are trying to create a key value map using key value map policy. While creating a key value map, you can define the scope of the key value map using which you can able to control who can access that key value map that you created. So you can define the scope at organization level or environment level or at proxy level or at a proxy revision level. So by default, it is an environment level. That means any proxy that is deployed in that particular environment can able to access uh, that particular key value map. But you can able to change it uh, to org level or proxy level or proxy revision level. As you can see, I'm logged into Apache Edge as an org administrator. Let's quickly create an API proxy and uh, create KVM policy to see scope attribute in action. Click on plus proxy, choose reverse proxy, click next. I'm gonna name the proxy name as uh, KVM scope uh, demo and then choose next, choose the defaults, build and deploy the proxy. Once it is deployed, access the develop screen to create a KVM policy and define the scope of the key value map entry. Click on develop, click on uh, preflow, click on plus step and then choose key value map uh, operations policy. So add the map identifier, I'm gonna name the map identifier as uh, KVM scope demo. Let's uh, change the scope to API proxy so that uh, this particular proxy can able to access the value that it is creating so that no other proxy can able to read those values. So remove x everything except initial entries and uh, the parameter k1v1. So this particular uh, key value map k1v1 can be accessible only within this proxy. If you try to access uh, outside this proxy, it should fail. So save the API proxy and uh, make one sample call to initialize the entries and then let's try to access from different proxy where it should not work. So let's create the entry. Let's make an initial call. As you can see, the policy got successfully executed. And uh, now let's try to access the same key value map K1v1 from outside uh, the pro proxy. It should fail. Let's create another proxy to test the accessibility. So I'm gonna create a new proxy. I'm gonna name it as uh, KVM read scope and give the existing API as HTTP pin.org. Click next and choose the path through. Choose the defaults, build and deploy. Uh, let's uh, try to access the KVM and it should not work from different proxy since we have defined the scope to proxy. Uh, try to add the same key value map operations. Add the map identifier to KVM scope demo. And try to read the values uh, K1v1 and it should not work. So I'm gonna change uh, the policy, remove everything except get. Change the scope to API proxy. And we are trying to read the value from K1. And assign the value to given value. And given value should not work and it should be empty. Remove index is equal to 1 and then save the API proxy. And let's test it out using a trace window. Click on trace, start trace session. Let's make an API call. As you can see, Kevin value is empty because we have restricted the scope to the existing proxy and uh, the value is not available in this particular proxy. That's how scope value works. I uh, hope it is helpful for you. If you have any questions, please post your questions in kambi.apache.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel and uh, keep watching these videos. Thank you.